Hello, this video will provide you instructions on creating a super size jack o' lantern flower. So, this is one of the pumpkin face designs that come in the jack o' lantern mini flower bundle. So, we're just going to glue the uh, faces to the back layer. So, I'm going to use Barely Arts Precision Craft Glue. I like to flip it towards me once I have everything lined up. You can use any craft glue that you have in your stash. So I'm just going around each jack-o'-lantern's face. Of course, you can do it in any color way. I've done them um, with the back layer being black. This time I did yellow. And orange. This is Nina paper, but um, Astro Bright's paper by Nina. So I'm using bright yellow and orbit orange. Okay, so I have three petals and I glued them all together, so from largest to smallest. And now we're going to take our dowel rod and roll the petal. We're going to roll them under, so I'm going to flip it over. And they're each a different size, so we're only going to roll one at a time. And I'm using the 3 8 inch dowel rod. And we're just going to slightly roll each side up. If you want a more curled look, you can cut into the center with a precision scissors in between each petal. And I want to be able to see the jack-o'-lantern face. So again, with the jack-o'-lantern face facing um, downward, you're going to place the dowel rod down in the middle of the petal, thumb on top, index finger underneath. Just pinch it up ever so slightly on each side, and you can just roll it across and curl it in from the other side. Pinch it up, roll it a few times, and then just go across the petal and pinch around the dowel rod. It's not curled up a lot because, again, you want to see that pumpkin shape. And super size just means that we're making it larger than a normal smaller mini flower, which is traditionally three, three and a half inches, where this is six inches. And a mini flower means that all the petals are connected. So it's a great way to show you that you can use these templates to make a little bit like larger mini flower or like a medium size flower. Be cute with some larger flowers in um, a wall decor or in a Halloween display. Again, I'm using the 3 8 inch dowel rod. Now we're gonna take our flower shaping mat. So it's a soft foam mat. We're gonna start from the largest one. We're gonna place it down. And because we rolled them under, we do need to roll our center with our metal ball stylus tool. So we're gonna take one a little bit larger diameter metal ball stylus and roll it where the petals meet the base. And you can see the petals lifted up. I'm going to take the next size, roll where the petals meet the base. So we have a Y here 
and now we have an upside down Y. So bring your petals straight down in between the previous layer's petals and press. So these are a quarter of an inch smaller overall, so it's a very slight difference between the first layer and second layer. Now we're gonna roll our third layer. Add glue to the back. Not sure if I rotated it. So here's our Y. Here's our upside down Y. So we're just gonna come straight down and place it right in between. We're gonna roll the center where the petals meet the base just to make sure that glue would adhered. Now it's time to create the center. For all the centers, you're going to roll each circle with the metal ball stylus and then pull it towards you. So roll it towards you and that lifts the petals up. For the two smallest, we're going to do the exact same thing, but before you do that, cut in between very slightly a small little sliver in between each set of three petals. Just a tiny little cut. Because you don't want to cut the petals off. Okay, now individually, again, you're going to take your metal ball stylus and just roll in a circular motion the top circle and then roll the petals, the metal ball stylus towards you. So pull it down. So just roll it down and that lifts the petals. Now you can switch to the smaller embossing stylus, which is available from Dollar Tree since these are smaller. So I chose to use the same yellow I used for the back of my, for the jack-o'-lantern back layer for my center. And I just keep them lined up by size. Again, roll or stir in a circular motion the tip of each petal so it's going instead of flat you can see it changes the shape Then pull it towards you down the stem of the center and then roll I do the three and then pull towards you So it's giving a little bit of dimension to that tip of the center. And then stir it. So it really closes it in. Okay, so we're gonna start from the smallest ones to the largest. So we're gonna stir these two smaller ones and I'm gonna glue one inside the other. So by cutting into it, you can see my center, it really closed up the center. And then we're gonna take our next two and fold up around. And 
and we're just going to continue to grow our center by going to the next size up and gluing it in the center there so you just add glue to the back place it in the center so we're gonna have a nice puffy center <laughs> or full for our jack-o-lantern almost like a candle or a votive <laughs> inside the jack-o-lantern you can stir them to lift up those petals even more and then what you can do is start to look at your group of three and place it in between the previous layers so if you find it easier to assemble it from the back, which sometimes I do, you can see a little bit easier where to, the placement of it. Now just be careful it doesn't move on you. And then you can just fold up and around. So we can check it. It's almost there. So it's fun to use different centers. So this flower bundle doesn't come with a center per se. You can use the um, plain petal to create it, to close it up, or you can use one of the um, flower center bundles to create your own unique center. And we're just going from smallest to largest to create this center. So just keep adding your glue and attaching your center. You can open it up slightly if you want. right in there so all we're going to do is add some glue again to the back do you need a oh wow, i'm out of glue see if i can squeeze i think i should be okay attach it in there now you have a cute pumpkin super size mini flower thank you for watching